Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the August 2019 horoscope for Aquarius. And as I am shuffling the cards, I will go through the transits for the month of August. So the cards that I will be using are the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck, the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, as well as playing cards. And don't forget to leave a like if you are enjoying this video and a comment on how this would resonate with you or how this helps you in your life. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel as well as hitting the notification bell. So let me just show you. I already have some cards laid out here. This will be for the month of September, so I will get to that later. So starting the month of August, we do have a new moon in Leo, as well as Mercury coming direct very, very late on July 31st. And for those who, of you who do not know, we are in a Mercury in retrograde in Cancer at the moment. Now, when Mercury comes direct, we will still be in post-shadow. So some things that have not been addressed yet are still up for review in the post-shadow. And the communication style with Mercury and Cancer will be very emotional, sensitive, empathetic. This new moon in Leo is a doorway or an access point to your true happiness and authenticity. So take advantage of this new moon in your life. Only do what makes you happy and is beneficial to you. It's time for you to live in your truth and authenticity. Following this is a moon in Virgo, which will make us feel more grounded, more practical. You may find yourself wanting to do some chores around the house or to get involved with some new habits, some new routines. to help benefit you, to help improve your life. Following this, the moon moves into Libra, where you may feel the desire to bring some peace and harmony into your life. And this may affect relationships as well, as Libra deals with relationships. So you may find yourself wanting to discuss a problem, wanting to negotiate, make a compromise. Finding ways to bring peace and harmony into your relationships. Following this, the moon will be in Scorpio which is the fallen position for the moon. So this is where you may find some insecurities, some fears. Some feelings. Some passion. This really brings up 
feelings that we try to hide or stuff down within us or avoid to the surface. So these are things that you will have to face as the moon moves through Scorpio. Following this, the moon will be in Sagittarius, where you may find yourself wanting to find meaning and reasoning in your life. Sagittarius dealing with wisdom, philosophy, higher understanding. Now on August 11th, we have a few things happening. On August 11th, Jupiter will station direct. And so for those of you who did not know, Jupiter has been retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius, where we have been sort of in this observational period, visualizing the things that we want to manifest. And so with Jupiter direct in its home sign of Sagittarius, this will bring those things into fruition. You will see much abundance. You may see blessings and lessons and even challenges to help you expand and grow in your life. Also on the same day, Mercury enters Leo. And this is where the, communi the communication style changes. With Mercury and Leo, communication will be much more bold, outspoken. We tend to speak straight from our hearts. Also on the same day, Uranus stations retrograde. And for those of you who, do, who don't know, Uranus has been retrograde in Taurus for most of this year. So this is a new generational revolution that we are going through with Uranus and Taurus. And Taurus is the fall position for Uranus. And so this is where Uranus is questioning old values, old belief systems, old things that bring us comfort and security. This wants to free us from old values and old feelings of comfort and security that no longer serve us. And when Uranus stations retrograde in Taurus, this is where the chaos, the destruction, the breakthrough comes. This is where Uranus will remove these old values or belief systems. Or areas of comfort 
that no longer serve us. Following this, the moon moves into Capricorn. This is the moon's detriment. So with the moon in Capricorn, we tend to feel detached, more serious. Now the positive side of this is it gives you the ambition and the motivation to achieve your goals. And following this on August 15th, there will be a full moon in Aquarius. And this full moon will bring unexpected breakthroughs and answers to the information that we are seeking. So this is a powerful full moon, especially with Uranus and retrograde. Uranus in retrograde can also make us feel confused, can make us feel like we are not receiving the answers that we are looking for. And so this full moon in Aquarius will be a very powerful time for bringing clarity into our lives. And as you know, on a full moon, it is a time for self-reflection, for releasing, and also for being open and receptive to the abundance and the energies that are flowing into your life. Following this, there will be a moon and Pisces. And the moon is in Pisces is where you may find yourself feeling foggy or confused, especially if you are paying too much attention to details, you are overanalyzing. With the moon in Pisces, you want to get in tune with your feelings you want to follow your intuition that is where you will find the clarity now on august 18th mars enters virgo and this is very powerful energy for getting things done for following routines and healthy habits in your life This gives you the energy, the passion, the focus to be responsible and to get the tasks that need to be done, accomplished. Following this on August 19th, Jupiter makes aspects with Saturn. And this is the reality check. With Jupiter in Sagittarius and Neptune in Pisces, we tend to have high hopes, big dreams. And so Saturn will show you the reality of the situation. It'll show you if these dreams, if these things that you want to manifest in your life are truly realistic and attainable
following this, the moon moves into Aries, where you may feel more active, more lively, ready to take initiative. You may find yourself wanting to start a new project or to get out and explore, to be more active in your life. And on August 21st, Venus enters Virgo. This is a challenging position. Venus is in its fall position in Virgo. And this is due to Venus having to do with love, beauty, creativity, where Virgo brings us back down to reality with the responsibilities and the routines. And so with Venus and Virgo, especially in relationships, but also with yourself of not being overly critical or overanalyzing the situation. Now on the positive note with Venus having to do with relationships, You can see the areas that need improvement. And so this can give you the tools to work on the areas that need improvement in your relationships. Following this, the moon is in Taurus, its exalted position. So this is where we feel very comfortable, very safe, secure. And then on August 23rd, we start Virgo season. So the sun enters Virgo which changes our conscious awareness and our behaviors. This is a brand new cycle, so we are coming out of the Sun in Leo, which is more active, more fun, more exciting, more lively in the heart of summer. Shifting into Virgo, which is the sign that transitions us from summer to fall. So things start to become more grounded, more serious. We find ourselves being more practical. Following this, the moon enters Gemini, which creates a lot of busy energy. You may find yourself thinking and feeling a lot. There tends to be a lot of mental
traffic that happens when the moon is in Gemini. You may also find yourself wanting to learn or communicate or experience something new, especially in your environment. Following this, the moon enters Cancer, its home sign. So here we feel more emotional, more empathetic, more caring. You may also find yourself hiding or protecting your feelings. Cancer does have this shell to protect itself. Following this, the moon enters Leo, where our feelings are put on stage. So you may find yourself being more dramatic, more expressive with your feelings. You may find the confidence or the boldness to show how you really feel. You also may find yourself wanting to have fun, to be more adventurous, And ending the month of August, there will be a new moon in Virgo on August 30th. This is your portal or gateway or access point to help you improve and work on the areas that you truly need to work on in your life. And so the month of August is much lighter, much more easygoing than the month of July with the eclipse season and Mercury in retrograde on top of it that we have went through in the month of July. This is much more easier, much more laid back in the month of August, which should give you time to work on yourself. The month of July was a time of self-reflection, a time of review, to look at the things that need work and improvement. And so in the month of August, this will give you a great opportunity to work and improve on yourself. Now, starting off with the tarot. A lot of you are growing emotionally. A lot of you are here to be real. A lot of you are here and ready to express your feelings. And a lot of you feel safe and secure in how you feel. Now, a lot of you, you may find yourself open to learning something new at this time, or you may have to go through a learning process. This is showing growth and expansion. In the way that you think or communicate. So a lot of you, I see you going through some learning experiences, especially in relationships or in relating to others.
and a lot of you still are not aware of your true power. A lot of you are still not living in your true power. And this comes down to you needing the strength and the confidence to express this inner power. And for some of you, this means being more vulnerable. Again, going back to the Nine of Cups, expressing your feelings and your truth and your authenticity. For some of the for some of you this just means standing in your power, standing in your truth. Standing as who you truly are with confidence. And again, here's that expression. A lot of you need to take more action in expressing yourself. Communicating your strength, your passion, your power. Being peaceful, but also being authentic in who you are. Expressing your truth. And here it is again, your power. Your confidence. And some of you may be dealing with a female with a fire sign. So dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or this may be you. And the power that you need to express. But for a lot of you, this is... The need to... Express your true authenticity and power. And you see the black cat because you are okay. You are being protected and watched over. No harm is going to come to you by expressing your truth and your power. And again, we see a number, another three dealing with expression. And we're dealing with cups, water. So a lot of you are not expressing your feelings, your emotions. Again, going back to the nine of cups. This is the area where a lot of you need to grow and learn and experience in expressing your true feelings. And you're being offered this new beginning where you get to feel and express 
your feelings, your truth, your authenticity. So this is very powerful. Take advantage of this, Aquarius. That you're being offered this new beginning. And again, a lot of you are not grounded and stable in your true power. In your truth, in your authenticity. A lot of you need to commit to this power. And here it is. Pluto, we're dealing with your personal power, your transformation your rebirth. And so for some of you, this could have to do with a transformation. A life experience that you have went through. That should be shared, should be communicated, should be expressed. Because this can help others on their path as well. So this is asking you to express your true power, your authenticity. And for some of you, even your transformation in your life experiences that you have been through. And again, here it is again, air, dealing with that communication. So a lot of you just need to be more expressive. And here's Jupiter. So again, that growth, that expansion, that experience. That you will go through for a lot of you. There are lessons and challenges coming in your life to help you grow. We saw that earlier with the Five of Swords. And these experiences will help you be more real, help you be more authentic, more grounded in your power and who you are. This will help you serve others for a lot of you as well. A lot of you, these experiences that you have gone through are there to help you assist others on their journey. And we see this again where You're being asked to be stable and grounded in your authenticity and your true power. And again, this is showing a strong female presence, as we saw before with the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, this could be dealing with a female who has an earth energy. So this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And we just saw Virgo, so this could be it for a lot of you. 
for most of you though this is looking at you being more stable and grounded in your true power in the jack of spades you are being asked again to express yourself to communicate this is about speech and cutting out these old fears and these old belief systems these old thought patterns that don't serve you And again, bringing your feelings back into balance. And as I said earlier, for some of you, this is dealing with relationships or how you are relating to others. You're being called to express your feelings more. And we see it again with the three of spades, this expression, this communication. This is all about you communicating your feelings, communicating in order to connect, to tell your story, to help others. So that was August 2019. I will now take a look at September 2019 for you so this is a preview to see where you are in September and we start off with the moon so again dealing with emotions and for some of you this could be you finding yourself in this emotional place expressing your feelings for others of you this could be you still being called to express your feelings Sagittarius is here so again this is this growing or learning experience that you were going through and this is dealing with Leo, your truth, your authenticity. So a lot of you need to step into your power and express your truth. Sagittarius Leo. And we see Gemini and the Sun in reverse. So again, this lack of expression, this lack of communication, even to some degree, this lack of learning. So for some of you, this could be a repeat. You could find yourself going back. For others of you, again, this could be you on this path, still needing to learn this lesson. So please choose to turn this around. This will help you grow on your path. And we end up with Neptune. So your dreams, your visions fulfilled in the end.
for some of you. This Neptune at the end could be you still living in that fear and that illusion, imprisoning yourself in that fear. But for a lot of you, if you do the work, this is your dreams, your visions being fulfilled. So that was your August 2019 horoscope. Also a look at September 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. Now on YouTube, if you do not hit the notification bell, you will not see the new videos. So keep that in mind. Also, if this helped you out or resonated with you in any way, make sure to leave a comment down below. You can help impact someone's life with your story or your journey or how this helped you or impacted you. So I hope you all have a great day.